Hi everyone and welcome back to Show Up with me, Sophie Bond. I am thrilled to do another episode. This is my fifth one and this is still completely new, but doing this has really like opened new doors for me. I am contacting people who I haven't seen for a long time or who I've never met before, just inspiring women around the world that I sit down with and talk uh, about what made them who they are today. I uh, am now thinking about religion a little bit. Like we had, we just had Easter here. Some people celebrate Easter, right? In Sweden, we're not very religious at all. We're not religious, I would say. Uh, I remember asking my dad once like, do you believe in God? And he's like, no, but I wish that I had because it would have brought me so much comfort. I can completely get that because it must be very nice to feel like someone sort of has your back, right? I'm definitely a spiritual person. Um, I tend to believe that we're all God, that we all belong and I think religions can be beautiful and it's like traditions and everything but I think it's sad that it sometimes like sets people apart. I don't think that was the meaning, right? So I guess my religion is love, you know, love. We all know what that feels like. That's what like keeps us good. We get that like sense of worth and meaning, I think, in life. I know I sound a bit naive, but I still believe we're made out of love, all of us. Anyhow, so going back to Easter, we um, we do still celebrate all these, you know, we have all these traditions and I celebrated all sorts of traditions, different religions. When I moved to America, it was uh, like, I think that was a big difference maybe from being from Sweden and in America, because there people actually do go to to church and, and they pray and like sometimes you pray around the table and and I think it's that's beautiful like it brings a lot of gratitude up in your life. I had never experienced that like holding hands, pray around the table for the food and and uh, and I think that's beautiful really. I uh, tried some different in New York especially like I had a lot of Jewish friends so I tried you know the Shabbat dinners and I thought it was a lot of fun and uh, I met this amazing rabbi who uh, uh, told me a bit about her journey and uh, she was a much older woman who became a rabbi and um, she was actually a survivor. Her way of mending herself was going back to Germany to meet soldiers and to actually hug them and see them and look at each other as just two different people. Coming from her, it was like a, a really amazing story. But I think that also says something about us human beings. If you can get to that point where you can let yourself heal from something so enormously painful and do it from the source, I think that she had something figured out. Anyhow, Thank you so much for listening and uh, I will see you next week. All right, take care. Bye. Show up, show up, show up.